Hi, I'm Edie Windsor, and somebody wrote me a large speech, which I'm not going to make, but there are a couple of things I wanted to say. One, I wanted to tell you what marriage meant to me. Uh, it, it's kind of crazy. We lived together for 40 years. We were engaged with with the circle diamond pin because I wouldn't wear a ring because I was still in the closet. Okay. Uh, I am today an out lesbian, okay, who just sued the United States of America, which is kind of overwhelming for me. When my beautiful, sparkly Thea died four years ago, I was overcome with grief. Within a month, I was hospitalized with a heart attack. And that's kind of common. It's usually looked at as broken heart syndrome. Uh, in the midst of my grief, I realized that the federal government was treating us as strangers, and I paid a humongous estate tax. And it meant selling a lot of stuff to do it, and it wasn't easy. I live on a fixed income, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> Many people ask me why get married. I was 77, he was 75, okay? And maybe we were older than that at that point. Uh, but the fact is that everybody treated it as different. It turns out marriage is different, okay? And I've asked a number of, of, of long-range couples, gay couples, who then got married, I've asked them, you know, was it different the next morning? And the answer is always yes. It's a huge difference. Uh, when, uh, okay, when our, our marriage appeared in the, in the New York Times, the, the Catholic, we heard from literally hundreds of people I mean, little playmates and schoolmates and colleagues and friends and relatives all congratulating us and, and, and sending love because we were married. So it's a magic word I, for anybody who doesn't understand why we want it and why we need it. Okay, it, it is magic. Uh, and uh, what I, I guess all the only other thing I want to say is we did win in the lower courts. This, Today is like a spectacular event for me. Uh, I mean, it's a lifetime kind of event. And, uh, and I know that the spirit of my late spouse, the Aspire, okay, is right here watching and listening and, uh, and would be very proud and happy of where we've come to. Thank you all. Ms. Eating, what was going through your I mind? I felt very serious, very serious. Okay. <laughs> and listening carefully, I had I had things on, I'm, I'm halfway deaf, but I had things on, so I heard every word and I really paid attention. <laughs> how do you think it went? Edie, how do you think it went in there? What? How do you, how do you think, think it, it went? went? I can't hear you now. <laughs> how do you think, how do you think it went? So you know, me how did it go? I'm not hearing. Oh, how did, how did okay. it go? I think it was great. I think it went beautifully. I I thought the justices were 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 gentle, if, if that's the word I want. Okay, they were certainly they were direct. They asked all the right questions, but I felt that no, I didn't feel any hostility. Okay, I, or or any or any sense of inferiority. You know, what do these people want? I mean, I felt 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 we were very respected and uh, and. And I think, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs>